WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 11th day of April, Monday. We're looking at the Dow down 172 at 34,547. You can see this little cluster formation here. Absolutely needs to hold 34,200, but that's on a very short-term basis. But 34,000 is going to be absolutely key this week. We're looking at it down 0.48%. But look at this, the S&P, the 500 stocks, not the 30, but the 500 stocks are down 50 at 44.38. And uh, as a result of that, you've got to be watching this very closely because 44.10 to 43.90 is absolutely key support this week. If it closes under that, that says, uh-oh, now you've got to be careful. But in the meantime, uh, a digestive phase is very important after the really good move that it had up until about the 28th of the month. We're looking at the QQQ, one, two, three, there we go. This is the NDX 100, sharply down, down 6.73 at 342.35. Mm, this is not good. This is a failure pattern. And as is just keep in mind that these NASDAQ, the growth stocks, are still having a terrible time. IWM, the Russell small caps, Russell 2000, uh, was moving up earlier on. Now it's down 41 and 197.46. A big issue here is going to be bonds. You're looking at bonds going to lower lows. That means yields are going to higher highs. This is exactly the moment over the next two, three days where we're going to see, is there a chance that the uh, uh, TLT, that's bonds, is able to find some support having gone under say 126 and now trading at 123 in the 12341 low it's at 12351 is this in the Chapman wave inside track support level is this going to be the work of technical analysis that says hey it is looking like this is the very moment that it should start to find some support because if it breaks out of this very long term down channel, the mini down channel, that's going to be very negative. The stochastic said 11% on balance. Everything is down at the lows. Uh, we're going to be watched to see what happens by Wednesday or Thursday if the TLT finally can get to the 125.90, 126.60 area, probably about a little bit a little higher than that. And I'll say, oh, good. Now there's a little bit of a turnaround to help those yields from uh, running too sharply, maybe getting into a position where you can pull back for a little bit. That's just the way we're looking at it. Crude oil, crude oil is acting. Um, it's been weak, but it's holding the base of support here in the arch formation. Um, these are patterns I'll be talking about in my webinar coming up on Wednesday, the 13th, 4 o'clock to 5.30 for subscribers to Mercury Corp. Uh, have a wonderful day. A great program coming up, of course. Larry Pazavento, all the way through to the 3 o'clock Tumble Branch show, which actually I'll be sitting in for. Have a great day. See you a little late.